Okay, so we we're planning on doing this video down the road, but we have an opportunity today to do it, so we're going to throw one together. This tractor was having complaints of tough steering, and it was steering hard to the right and left. And we came to find out the spindle's frozen. So this, you should be able to push basically with a finger back and forth. It took a lot of force with the steering wheel. As you can see, it's frozen. Like I said, this should be able to go back and forth by hand. So there's a few different causes of this. Um, you can have a, a, a bent spindle. This can get bent in here. Uh, a lot of times it's just from lack of being uh, greased and sitting too can be another reason. Um, you could try spraying stuff down here, but when they're this frozen, it's not going to happen. So we got to get it out and get it cleaned up and uh, clean out the, the, the spindle and, and the inside of this axle. Um, you want to be careful beating on them. You don't want to beat on here because you're going to bend it and that'll either break or, or mess up your steering geometry. If you beat up here too hard and it doesn't go, you're going to mushroom it and it's going to be tough to get it out. Uh, you're going to have to clean it up here and uh, grind it down or sand it or whatever. So we, we usually try beating them out first with a hammer. If that doesn't work, and take an air hammer and air hammer bit. And most of the times that'll get them. Other, other times we're going to have to heat them up or you get creative with the shop press. But let's see if we can get any, any movement on this. This one is going. We lucked out there. Always put your safety goggles on and gloves and all that stuff. Do what you're supposed to do. Not what I do. try using these pickle forks if we can get it to slide past the stop sometimes you gotta get creative it's it's a little bit mushroomed over just from that little bit of hit and that's why I'm worried about it go a little bit but not as much as I would have liked try it again with the punch I don't think we're gonna have success but we can try it all right so now we're gonna try to get the air hammer in here I use the air hammer. Good morning. So, these are pretty hard. You really can't drill them most of the time. But we tried. I just don't want this rattling all over the place, beating the hell out of the axle. That was the point of trying to get a uh, spot for this to sit in. It's going. I don't know if we're gonna have enough room to go all the way down, but you put your foot on here as long as you're blocked up good. The other key is having your axle blocked up, not the tractor. So I'm at as far as the, the bit will go. Alright, since so I don't have a longer bit, we're going to make a spacer, just use a half inch bolt, leave a little thread out here, you're going to probably destroy the bolt and not, but this will sit down in here. Alright, she's out. That might be usable. So it's dry in here. This is from me spraying. So it's definitely dry in here. It looks like there's some garbage in there. It could be buggered up a little bit. But this should slide in and out of here with ease by hand. 
So we're gonna have to clean this up a little bit. And the more important thing is cleaning this up. This I'll just clean up with some very clean, little bit of emery cloth on here because I don't see anything real bad. And then here I'll show you what we'll do in a minute. Make sure you get this good and cleaned out here. Some brake clean, some carb clean, whatever you need there. Just get all the dirt, dirt and grime and rust, hard old grease. Grease gets hard after a while, especially if new grease isn't put introduced to it. So, again, probably what happened here. I don't think there's a ton of damage. You can go both directions if you're real dirty. The other thing at this stage you want to do is test your grease fitting and make sure you put some grease into it and you can see it coming out inside. That's real important. So we took this inside and just cleaned it up with some brake clean and just ground down the uh, tip here where it got mushroom over from hitting on it a little bit. Just to keep this groove clean and undamaged for your snap ring. Sometimes it's all it takes is cleaning these up and you can you can get them in. Sometimes they'll, they'll go in all right. And other times they won't so if they don't and usually you'll find it'll go a little bit and stop it seems to be where the grease fitting is is where these bores get a little bit damaged um, so we'll show you how to clean those out and fix that now this is a, a reamer they call maintenance reamers or car reamers or it's kind of like a bridge reamer but not the same and this is the most common way to get an exact tolerance of a hole so machine shops will use these a lot and, and in auto repair places because unlike a drill bit, this won't walk around and this won't wibble, wiggle. You're, you're, you're one inch up here, that's it. Your tolerance is one inch. So as long as this thing is pretty straight and you go into a pilot hole, doesn't matter if your pilot hole size, as long as this will go into it, all, the only size you'll ever get is one inch if you go all the way through. Where a drill bit will walk and wander as it's starting. And the same thing if you put a drill bit into a pilot, pilot hole, it still walks and wanders. So if you're looking for precise measurements, the reamers are really the best way to go. But for this, we're going to use it to clean out this hole. So this is a one inch reamer that should kind of fall in there and it's not. So it's telling me we got some damage in there. So the other thing, put your, your clutch on because these will rip your arm off. So go with your slow speed. Be careful what you're doing. Pay attention. Use lube or cutting oil or whatever and have your clutch on here so it doesn't rip your arm off. I don't know if I got adjusted good enough, but we'll find out. Use some cotton oil or some kind of grease or spray. You want to be as straight as you can be. You want to prepare yourself for when it grabs, if it grabs. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. That wasn't bad, so this bore is not all that bad. I've had them before. They'll go halfway and, and rip your arm out. If you need to, you can go from the bottom. Um, obviously we can't because the tractor's not high enough, but I don't think we need to on this. I think that's all it's gonna take. There's a lot of garbage and gunk in there. This shaft looked fine when we were cleaning it up. The end was mushroomed over, but that was from, from hitting it, I think. Um, so make sure you got your big thrush washer on the bottom, or if you're putting poor man's power steering on, now's the time to do it. It goes in place of this. You want to just squirt any metal chips you may have in here out. And then again, just lube. Lube that up a little bit just to make installation easier. Your grease fitting will give this grease. The other key thing you want is grease underneath this washer. Make sure your washer's clean in the base because grease from the grease fitting doesn't always make it down there. All right. And then these should just drop in. If you want to test it from the top, you can. Yep, good. But these should just drop right up in. And that's how these should be. World of difference. All right, just again, a little, little bit of lube on your washer. Washer sets in there. And then your snap ring, or if you got a roll pin, your roll pin goes in. This style's got snap rings. You gotta make sure it rides right in that groove, otherwise your spindle will fall off and cause an accident. Spin it around that groove, make sure it feels like it's in there. 
and that's it now if you can see the difference from when we started then this tractor will feel like it's got power steering compared to what it did pretty simple pump it full of grease obviously hook your drag or your tie rod back up and then do a full alignment on these we've got a video showing you how to do the full alignment from start to finish from starting underneath to going your steering gear to doing the toe with the tie, tie rod here and then your drag link alignment